Hi all, it's Todd here, and it is Labor Day. Yep, Monday. And, uh, yeah, fall is getting closer. Thankfully, it's been a hot, hot, hot summer. And it's the last day of Dragon Con as well, so we got a lot of friends coming home. And, uh, believe it or not, a lot of these people that I know who class play that you see at Dragon Con, they start their projects almost <laughs> the day they get home. They plan out for the next year, and I do the same thing. Now, right now, we are working on Hellboy, and I, I want to show you what I've gotten done at this point with the right hand of Doom. So let's go! So it might not look like much right now. We got the uh, EVA foam on here. This, don't pay attention to that. <laughs> when I'm done with this, you won't, probably won't even know it's there. So I blend everything in. It's a slow process, but I've got the first layer, well, the layer of EVA foam. And eventually this will be carved into looking like stone. So let me show what I use a lot. I use this over here. Um, this helps me quite a bit. With the EVA, uh, this grinder. Um, I use the soft uh, part of it right here, kind of grinds it down. I'm working on this shoulder pad too for one of my Mandalorians that I've been working on, doing upgrades and uh, doing some chest upgrades too to my Mandalorian. But yeah, I use this quite a bit to grind down to smooth out the EVA foam, give it that stone look. Let me show you, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Kind of show you here. Um, this will start giving you that stone look. And I've got a heat gun too. The beauty of the heat gun, if you do carvings, which uh, the right hand of Doom has, you do the carvings into it and you apply the uh, heat gun and then expands it. And then it makes it look more like stone, which is really neat. So we're in the process of doing that. So I'm gonna grind it down a little bit more. And especially with this part here, we'll start making that look more blended in. So right here, I'm gonna show you what I do here. Yeah, it's kind of blended in slowly but surely. See how it comes in there. But I'll get this all flattened out where it's all blended in to the stone. Then if I need to fill more, I will fill more uh, of this. And you saw how it looked earlier. There you go. So I'm slowly blending it in. And the cool thing, you just take some of uh, the uh, hot glue and kind of fill it in there, let it dry, then smooth it out again. You just keep redoing the process. But see how the grinder does these cool little natural bites into the EVA so it gives it that stone look so that's what I'll do too I'll kind of sporadically do it around here I want you to want to I want to show you this the uh, paint that I use uh, before I actually paint it so yeah you don't want to use certain uh, aerosol sprays on the EVA foam because it will disintegrate it easily and I'll show you what I use to put first before you even apply any paint to it so make sure you're using Plasti Dip it's a great spray. This is black. It comes with different colors. I gen generally use my base color as black on any of the uh, projects that I work on. Then you can use like an aerosol spray, different colors. I use like a flat enamel on these. And then I'll dry brush uh, the red over the black to really have it pop out and give it that really cool stone look to it. Now, the other thing I want to do, too, is with the hot glue gun, see these gaps here? I'm going to squirt down there. They'll kind of give it more uh, rigidity, more strength to hold that EVA foam down. And this side, too, I'll probably, these little gaps, too, fill those in with some more hot glue. Just to give it, you know, more strength over time and, uh, yeah, just hold together much better so you don't have to worry about anything coming apart on your costume. Okay, as you can see... I've shot in there the hot glue and give it about usually about 10 15 minutes to really set up and uh, if you want to you can also like kind of squeeze it in to give it that uh, real tight bond but really there's no need to I mean it, it sets up really well just the way it is shouldn't have a problem at all but yeah we'll do that side then we'll do the other side so also on the right hand of doom uh, I'm going to cut this a little bit down just a little bit because on, if you look at the picture here, you'll see on the edges on both sides, he has a little area that lifts up, kind of a, you know, a lip that comes up on either side. I'm going to do that too right now and glue that down and uh, get that part done. And so I've cut this, 
it doesn't have to be even because you're going to be doing the sculpting anyway uh, to make it look like stone. So you'll eat away some, some of it anyway. But I like to uh, take this to also cut out the other half for the, the other side. So um, we'll do that. Also save these as you cut them off because they're, they're great fillers in case you need it. Yeah, definitely keep some of the, the scraps from what you cut. And I just want to kind of show you what I'm doing here. We're rolling it around currently. And that it won't go anywhere. That hot glue and EVA uh, foam works together rather well. Yeah, it, it's pretty strong. And I like to put a lot on the end like that just because it's really a good sealant. I mean, it really sticks. And as you can see here, I just need a little bit more. No problem there. We'll get that filled up real soon. But like I said, the hot glue does great. You are going to get uh, some burns. <laughs> just, that, that comes with uh, cosplaying and when you're working on your costumes and making it. But yeah, I usually have to hold it and make sure it dries real good. Okay, so we filled the gaps. And then I put extra hot glue in there. That's okay. Like I said, it doesn't have to be precise. When you paint it, make it look like... You, you'll see what I'm talking about. You won't even be able to tell. But actually, it may add character to it, which is nice. And uh, let, let that uh, hot glue dry. And then we'll start uh, sanding it down with the grinder. Kind of want to show you how it's coming along. Okay, it's slowly getting that stone look to it. We'll do both sides, of course. And uh, the paint is what's really going to make it pop out once we're, we get all the carvings in there and everything. So slowly but surely, it's coming along. Here we go. There you go. Um, after the grinder, there you go. Um, the cool thing about it, too. Like if you have a little marks like this with a heat gun, that heat gun's gonna hide a lot of those little imperfections. It'll blend it together as you go. But yeah, check it out. Here you go. Starting to take shape, starting to take form. The next thing I'm gonna do, the la you know, last thing I do after I do the carvings is I will uh, apply the heat gun to start blending things in. You know, even some areas here that I may have missed, that heat gun does a miracles when it comes to the EVA foam and giving it that uh, cool natural stone look that we're looking for. So there you go. We're slowly getting there. And uh, the next part will be coming up soon. But I wanted to show you what I've done so far and kind of share that with you. So we're getting there. Yeah, this is pretty solid. And Oh, let me show you too when I put the glove in there, kind of how, how it's going to look. There you go. And of course, I'll do the EVA to the actual gloves to give it that stone look as well. Kind of like the try to get as movie accurate as I can. But yeah, this is, thing is huge. So and it is in the movie. It's pretty massive. I've seen some uh, the ones they you know they, that you can buy online and stuff. And I, I have one. It, it's too small. I mean, the the uh, right hand of doom is is massive on him. So I mean, that's one of his most powerful things that he has is his uh, right hand of doom so it's gonna look great when it's all done and uh, we're getting there slowly but surely so thanks for joining me and stay tuned for some more coming up and uh we're gonna finish up this next and then we'll, of course we're gonna do the uh, holster which is no big deal and then the tail and then we should be good to go for the uh for halloween but yeah there is the right hand of doom all right guys you guys take care we'll see you soon bye